good morning from our Uber ride. We are on our way to the, hold on, this bus is very loud. We are on our way to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. I'm gonna go make some lipsticks with a dear friend of mine that I met at an Ipsy convention last year. Her name is Gabby. And we're just gonna go play around and make some fun fall lipsticks. We had kind of a rocky start to our trip here. A little bit, yeah. We were in a, a little, little car accident yesterday in our lift leaving the airport. It's actually cheaper now for us to fly from upstate New York to New York City than it is to drive our car and park it for the weekend. So we flew, we get in the lift and he has a phone on the left steering wheel, a phone on the right, both his AirPods in and he jumps a one way and then bangs into the curb, almost hits a woman, runs into like almost a bush. We are in the back seat and then he continues to like drive. We pick up our other passenger from our shared lift and the kid goes, isn't this a one way? And we go, yeah. The guy kept driving and all of a sudden you hear like, bum, 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 bum. sure enough, um, the whole like left side of his car is so damaged. And um, so yeah, accident. The wheel was all popped, the side of the car was messed up, and then I went to go cancel the ride because he kept acting like, oh, sorry, sorry. Like he was gonna continue to drive us and we're like, no, we're getting out. And next thing you know, I was like, sir, I can't cancel the ride, and then he charges me for it. So then I spent my night in bed on the phone doing an accident report with Lyft to get the ride taken care of. So, such is life. We're having a great morning now. Yes. We're gonna go down to Soho, make the lipsticks, have some uh, brunch, and then go have lunch. And then I'm at the convention tonight, and then we're going out to dinner with our, with our very good friends that are letting us stay at their place. So, Everything's great. Magnolia Bakery right there. Bread pudding. Mm. Brandon's favorite. Brandon loves Magnolia bread pudding. It's so good. How do you not? Banana, with, with the banana. Right. And now every time I go over a bump, I get the heaps, even though it's just, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> just get a little nervous. Anywho, um, yeah, so come along for the ride. Classic new that I can use with like any lip liner. I'm really zoomed in here. There we go. And then the other choice that I did was this one right here. It's like the perfect, it almost matches my nails. Like the perfect Bordeaux fall wine lip color. So yeah, it was actually pretty simple. I felt like I didn't have to, well, thanks to my lady who did everything. I felt like I didn't have to try on too many lips to get. 
I don't know if I love these lashes. <laughs> They're kind of driving me nuts. Am I, is it in my head? Fran says it's in my head. Well, I think they're fantastic. Girl. Also, so, so Gabby had one color in mind from a Tom Ford lipstick that she will only wear once a year so she doesn't waste it. <laughs> and then that's what she matched to get her perfect shade as well. Oh, yeah. So that one all the way to the right is the yeah, winner. Yeah, that's the winner. I love it. Third time's the charm. Yeah, third time's the charm. All right. What flavor? What scent did you end up getting? I went with classic vanilla, you know. Nice. For both of them? Yes, for both of them. Nice. Why not? Why not? Last time I was here, last time I was here, I did like mint, and I loved the mint because it kind of felt like a pumping gloss kind of thing, but I clearly don't need pumping. But I kind of wanted classic vanilla. No, I like it. Yeah, I did the citrus mango, the one that was in the Every time this collection. light comes on, oh my god. And I was like, excuse me. wedding today she's getting married at 2 o'clock so we land at 8 30 we're gonna go home and nap for a couple hours shower and then go to the wedding um yesterday was very good um positives and negatives i think i will do a video on that maybe just reviewing it i did that my first year going to a good one thing that's been new when there's traveling on flights i don't want to be too loud is this new thing where they pat down our hair? Um, the first time it happened was a year ago when we went to Disney World. I went through the thing, like the electronic thing, and then they turned around and they're like, oh, miss, we have to pat down your bun. And I was like, this time around, my hair's down like this, right? I go through, do the whole check-in, and then they said, oh, I have to pat down your head for hidden spots. I said, okay. And then they and then the lady goes, do you have any sores on your head? I don't want to hurt your sores. I was a little offended by that, right? I mean. Was she wise? Oh, she was wise. <laughs> Very Caucasian. So I was a little like, oh. Meaning like what, I would have sores because I get my hair done like this? I don't, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I had mine like, I guess, down too. But where, what, what are you doing? What, do? what are you hiding in your man bun? Like, I don't get it. What am I hiding in, candy. in here? Of candy. And like, and if it was up in a bun, they'd even, like, they'd really, like, check the surface of your hair. But the whole, like, so do you have any sores on your head? I was like, what the? I don't know. I thought it was rude. I thought it was rude. But uh, yeah, we're going to head home and then go to the wedding. And I got a lot of good stuff yesterday. Um, interested to review some of it and just see what's going on there. Thank you. Um, people really bring full size suitcases as they're carrying on. It's not a carry on. We'll let it go, Nancy. We'll let it go. Um, yeah, so we'll see you in a bit. Like that wink? <laughs> 